Governor Lombardo signed two executive orders this morning. Faith Evans spoke with his chief of staff. She joins us now live from the Capitol. Faith, what do these executive orders do? Kristen, Ari, the first executive order that Governor Lombardo signed this morning is to repeal all COVID-19 emergency orders and declarations that our governor Steve Sisolak signed while he was in office. So all of those emergency declarations and restrictions, the administration is making sure that those are gone now. The second executive order is actually to improve the hiring process in the state of Nevada. The state is facing critical staffing shortages in many of its departments. There's currently a vacancy rate of more than 24 percent, more than 5,000 um, vacant positions in state government. We need to get those filled and uh, this, this emergency directive will hopefully get us there. Lombardo's order is meant to streamline the hiring process to get more qualified candidates through the door. He also set a deadline. State employees must resume pre-pandemic in-office work by July 1st of this year. Chief of Staff Ben Kikafer said that the other executive order, ending all COVID-19 directives, is just meant to ensure that there are no more active COVID-19 related emergency orders in Nevada. He also said that this order should not jeopardize any of Nevada's COVID-19 federal funding. This executive order by uh, Governor Lombardo makes it very clear that any restrictions due to the um, COVID-19 pandemic are no longer in effect. Coming up at 5 o'clock, we have a deeper look at what these executive orders mean for Nevadans. And we have a look at one of Lombardo's biggest priorities moving forward. Covering the story live, Faith Evans, 2 News.